Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Kagero Deception 2. Let's review the plot so far. Timenoids are immortal blue people. They kidnap Millennium when she was a little girl and have trained her to kill people with traps. At some point, they assigned her to guard the sacred place, which they didn't give, which we are where we are right now, actually. They didn't give her any help. No support whatsoever, other than some traps that were already there. And traps are the only things she was taught to use. No timenoids to help fight. No humans that were, like, loyal to the timenoids who were going to help her. Nothing. She got nothing. And when a uh, human was able to get in and out with the Timenoid secret, and she was only able to kill three of the four invaders who came after her, an individual girl who was not trained to fight, the Timenoids decided she betrayed them and are now going to kill her. But the thing is, they kind of have a betrayal coming on account of the fact that they obtained immortality by absorbing human souls. <laughs> Timenoids are douchebags. But anyway, let's see here. hurl him onto that thing. I cannot hurl him into the, um, one, two, three, four. I might be able to hurl him into lava from here if he wanders into an attack wall. Getting him to walk into that attack wall might be difficult, though. And then we would have to, uh, once he's been hurled into this, one, two, three, four. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. One, two, three. You'll probably end up here. Yeah, so that could work. But yeah, now King Eclipse is coming to personally take uh, revenge on us for betraying him, even though he's never spoken to us once. He spent the entire game planning to kill us when we were no longer useful to him. Guy's just a jerk. It's our first meeting, in fact. It's all your fault. The country's peace has been destroyed because of you. And I don't like it very much. That's what I'm saying. So what kind of traps do I got set? Oh, look. They're, oh, they're set for where I am, not where he is. Oh, well. Let's uh, set a nice spring floor over here. It'd be kind of fun if I can just... One, two, three... Keep throwing them into the dang floor over there. I could just juggle this guy infinitely. That would be interesting, but no, nah, it's not going to work. Really, really hope he steps on that bit of spring floor, because if he does, I got him. Slow down, King Eclipse. You're going to go on too fast. And you're bypassing my spring floor like a jerk. Oh, well. I can at least try and get him with some stuff here. He's moving pretty fast for a king. I thought he'd be kind of taking his time, but no. He's on the hop. Once again, I really hope that this one trap is ready soon enough. And I'm beginning to doubt it. Oh, night. Here we go. Did he just totally wreck my trap? Yeah, he did. What a dick. And now I can't get past him. He wrecked my trap! I freaked out, maniac. Is he shooting some kind of, like, death beams? What the hell is going on with this guy? Well, I mean, he should be, like, a boss, I suppose. Yeah, okay. He's a freak. He seems to be immune to certain traps, and I cannot tell for sure which ones. Although I could check out his enemy data and see. Cannot read about Priest Dusk. Should have done that earlier. Calm exterior, but ready to face his assassin. Stronger than his general. Well, yeah, but that's not saying a whole lot. 
Okay, if I can get him, like, pert enough that I can sneak by him, it might be a really good idea to find another loon. I believe there's one in the room of the grail. Which we've never actually been in that room, until, you know, now that I think about it. So let's make sure we've got some pretty good traps set up here. Because this is going to be a very key place if we want to defeat this dude. What have we got set up? I've got a lava vase. Then i got a bunch of stuff that's meant to drag him into the spikes. Eh, I was getting cute in this room. That might not be a good idea. Let's get a volt magnet going here. Suck him up as soon as he enters the room. Let's get a nice judgment going here to give him a shock before that even happens. I'm going to set a trap over another trap. i got to get rid of that lava vase. Or I could do a judgment next to the... This. Drop a lava vase on his head and then zap him into TV land. Either way, I gotta be prepared to book it if this doesn't work. If he turns out to be immune to one or more of these traps. Or if I just drop it way too early. Oh, wow. Not, not good. sucks. I do not want to die against King Eclipse. Not after all of this. And I ran right into that guillotine that almost killed me before. Gonna get a good view of him coming here. He can be affected by those traps. That's good to know. A lot of stuff wasn't affecting him, and it was starting to bug me. Okay, now he's going to heal all that back, but you know what? We can deal with that. I guess. I hope. I just have to be ready to duck out of rooms as soon as my traps fail to kill him. Oh, but I got the, like... Got the same combination of traps going here that worked against him in the other room. So this is good. This is very good. Is he going to heal up past the uh, full green? I think he probably is. Yep. But it almost don't matter. Let's run away again. Yeah, I know it seems like by not sticking on offense, I'm really messing up here, but he is dangerous. I do not want to get close to this guy. Now, let's set up my traditional traps for this room. That had to be a change around the last time because of our good friend, um, who I forgot to read the description of before he died. Uh, Priest Dusk. And this is it, folks. This this is the toughest mission in the game. Because when you do the ending where you're with the Timenoids right up to the very end, these are the guys who fight in the final mission of the game. In this one, there appears to be some more plot after you finish the Timenoids. But I'm almost positive that it's actually easier than what we've already dealt with. Or that we're dealing with now. One, two, three, four. Make sure that was the right thing to do. One, two, three, four, okay. I do not get hit by any of the in-room traps because you might die. Oh look, there's what's left of Prince Desk, or Priest Desk, whatever his name was. You know that guy? He used to work for you, you didn't treat him very good. I'm like, actually, well, I'm, I'm into it. I'm craning my neck to see around the corner in real life. It's like, JG, calm the F down, man. Oh, nice. If he gets sucked into this thing, that'll be supremely awesome. Probably triggered it too soon, though. Come on, don't wear off yet, you trap. Oh, you bastard trap, you should have kept working. I really needed you to keep working there. Here's the door. No, I'm not playing games with King Eclipse. He's as close as this game has to a final boss. Ah, thank you for recognizing my supremacy, son. Oh, no problem. Uh, 
King Flips. I mean, you're not going to be able to, to defeat Millennia, but you're still pretty badass. Now, I really hope I don't pay for this, but I'm going to hope that he doesn't, like, immediately launch a projectile and kill me. And there, in order for that to be... In order for him to wander into this trap, I need to stand here and be bait for a second. Hopefully this does not kill me. This should kill him! This should kill him! Come on, Volt Rock, do your stuff! Yes! Alright. And do not get killed by it. Us millennia, millennia, the world is headed for ruin. And it's your fault, bitch. I almost ran off the edge of this into the lava to avoid the, the rock, but luckily you cannot do that. Mission 21 clear. Woo! Yeah, it doesn't get any harder than this one, Perks. Perfect genocide. Life bonus, zilch because your life bonus is based on how much health you lost during the mission and I lost more than a full health meters worth of health between you know getting the loons to restore health so yeah anyway Woo. that's gonna be a long list yeah and now we can see why they have exactly eight room is about for, blah, 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 room for eight names and deaths because that is as many as you will ever fight in one mission Loon Gear, shocked by Volt Magnet. Revillian, shocked by Volt Wall. Which, wow, I finally got that to work. <laughs> Bloodhorn, smash and shocked by Volt Rock. Galdrake, judgment by judgment. Zodiac, head injury by Lava Vase. <laughs> Gilderest, smash and shocked by Volt Rock. Priest Dusk, large blast. Yeah, that's pretty anticlimactic end for poor Priest Dusk. And King Eclipse, smash and shock by Volt Rock. <coughs> I started coughing. I shouldn't make fun of King Eclipse in his final move. And now I've got enough to buy, I'm sure, at least one more fancy trap. Or a couple of shitty traps. And I've got a few missions left in which to use them. I don't think it's possible to buy all the traps in one mission, in one playthrough. I'm pretty sure you cannot earn enough. Captain Keith, we can't find the king anywhere. What a little light! Where did he escape to? If he is left permanently, it's going to be very difficult to find him. However, he probably plans to reemerge after he reestablishes his army. Yes, sir. Captain Keith! Captain Keith! Hey, she's still alive. No, it's not the same person at all. Never mind. Angela? Yes, sir. Oh, I'm British, but not quite as pocket. The search party has just reported that the king, the priest, and eight bodyguards have escaped to the ruins. The ruins! Go blow it! They're trying to buy time! They're trying to buy time, Lords! Angela, you go ahead and wait there with the search party. Yes. Leopold, we're heading for the ruins, too! Yeah, so this is where you have to deal with the red blood moon, whatever the heck they're called, people. Because you've killed a lot of humans. Oh, hey, ponytail dude. Is Captain Keith going to fight with us? Yes. Yes, that's why he's ordered us to wait until he gets here. See, we're all getting more and more British as the game proceeds. Angela, I'm sorry, but can you pretend that I didn't hear the captain's order? What? I can't let Captain Keith kill the king. If the captain kills the king, they'll think this was merely his quest for power. Someone else must kill the king. Captain Keith will play an important role in unifying the country after the king's death. Lombard, you're volunteering to get your hands dirty with this? Understood. I never said a word to you about the captain's order. 
I too will dirty my hands in killing the king. What about that captain's sister? She's gonna be hanging around too. Anyway, all right, yeah, exactly, almost exactly 15 minutes here. So let's save our game. Let's play around with traps for a minute. What can we afford to make now? We can afford evil breath, magnet floor. Can we afford cold? Yeah, I wanted cold arrows. Let's do that. Did it develop cold arrow? Yes. Cold air shoots from mask, freezing victim. But you need chain needle before you get I me. Mean, yeah, you still got a ton of stuff to do before I can get the ultimate arrow, so we probably shouldn't really even aim for that. Ah, I don't know. It could be fun, whatever. But uh, instead of rolling bombs, we're not going to use cold arrows, so. Bolt magnet has been awesome. I, I really. I was looking at it as a means to getting the bolt rock, but it has truly been a kick ass weapon. And it's been a fantastic. Excuse me. Fantastic whop it. Ooh, sorry about that. Jeez. Alright, so now we got we got cold arrow, and that will lead to laser arrow, but only if we can also get buzzsaw. To get buzzsaw, we need chain needle, I think. And spike wall. We don't have either of those, do we? Oh yeah, laser arrows are kind of out of reach. I'll aim for getting laser arrows. If I do another playthrough of this, I'll try to develop the gases as much as possible. The gases really do kind of suck. I mean, you can use them, you can manipulate enemies with them a little bit, but they are, they, yeah, you cannot use them for killing. It just isn't, they're just not strong enough. But anyway, so my gas is strong, folks, but it won't kill you. That's what I'm saying. Silent, but not quite deadly. And uh, that's been it for this video. Wow, I mean, the epic death of King Millennia and fart jokes all in one video. What more can you ask for from Kagero Deception 2? The game that brings you lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of death. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time, folks, when it's time to, for this plot to start coming home. See you then.